Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn of ChrisMasterjohnPhD.com, and you're watching Chris Masterjohn Light, where the name of the game is Details Schmeetails. Just tell me what works. And today we're going to talk about a few details about folate that really, really work. Folate is decimated by frozen storage. Take a look at the effect of freezing on a handful of vegetables from the study I'm showing you on the screen published in 2012. What they did was they took the vegetables and they washed them, they cut them, they blanched them, and they froze them. Immediately after storage, peas lost 20% of their folate. After three months of frozen storage, they'd lost 40%. And after six months, the folate was practically all gone, 96% losses. So after six months, peas are useless as a source of folate. Similar results were found for spinach, except they still had 20% of their folate left after six months. And even after 12 months, they had 8% of their folate left. Nevertheless, by six months, spinach has lost over 80% of its folate, so it's more or less useless. By six months, broccoli had lost 93% of its folate. After only three months, cauliflower lost 98% of its folate. Green beans were more stable. After six months, they had only lost 20% of their folate. Nevertheless, at nine to 12 months, they had lost the vast majority. The folate in yellow beans was really stable through six months, but then by nine months, it had lost almost all its folate. But take a look at the results of this paper. Here they looked at the stability of folate in liver, and after six months of frozen storage, liver still had about 80% of its folate left. So in frozen storage, folate isn't perfectly stable in liver, but it's pretty stable in liver and way more stable than in vegetables. So what we can say about storage is as follows. First of all, don't trust frozen vegetables as a source of folate. You, do you really know how long they've been frozen? Probably not. And if you can't verify that it's only been frozen for one or two months, you really have no idea if there's any meaningful level of folate in frozen vegetables. But on the other hand, although fresh liver is best, you can have frozen liver, even if it's been frozen for six months, most of its folate is left. And that's one reason why liver is the best source of folate, because it's the most reliable source of folate. In fact, studies repeatedly show that there's some loss of folate during cooking. Typical cooking methods often lose up to half the folate, although very frequently half of that loss is loss in the cooking water instead of destruction of the folate. Nevertheless, studies show that if you have liver sausage, in the raw sausage, you have a certain amount of folate, then you cook it, there is zero loss of the folate in liver during cooking. Why is this? Well, it's partly a result of, of the matrix. It's probably a result of the enzymes in, that are left in the tissue that are still active, and it's probably a partly a result of the other substances that are in that food. The liver as the metabolic hub of the body is best prepared to recycle things, and folate is among one of those things. And so a lot of the benefits of the liver that's in your own body when you're alive, it still has many of those benefits in terms of what it's able to do metabolically when it's in your freezer. And one of those things is recycle and stabilize folate. All right, I hope you found this useful. Signing off, this is Chris Masterjohn of chrismasterjohnphd.com. You've been watching Chris Masterjohn Light, and I will see you in the next video.